Hello and welcome to K-Studio channel. I'm excited to present to you SplineFlow, a new plugin for 3ds Max, which simplifies the creation of complex parametric objects based on the splines. With SplineFlow, you can effortlessly generate splines that smoothly flow from one to the other and follow a specific path that in turn allows the formation of complex objects. Today we will explore all the features of spline flow through the creation of this parametric wooden chair. The chair is composed of three main shapes, one, two, and three, and an additional shape for direction. Let's kickstart to create a spline flow. First, go to K-Studio category under Create Panel, and from Shapes choose Spline Flow. Now, switch to Modify Panel. Under the Shape section, let's start picking the three shapes to add their splines to the When you select a shape from the list it's highlighted in the viewport. Playing with the disable and reverse options allows excluding shape without deletion and reversing it respectively. Apply to all option allows applying axis orientation to all shapes in the list. Now, let's pick the direction spline from the path section. Let's rotate the path to fix axis orientation to Y axis. Spline flow has three options for alignment. Let's choose spline alignment to distribute perpendicular to the spline. Link to path option allows to align your spline flow object to the original direction shape. Let's jump to the transformation section. We have three main options of pivot alignment. Pivot align is a grid that helps you align the shape to the path. Original Pivot uses the original shape's pivot to align. Vertex Pivot uses the shape's vertex as a pivot. For this tutorial, Pivot Align will be our choice. Being a parametric modeling plugin, spline flow elements are instantly updated in case you change any of their related splines. Let's check the distribution section to control the density level of the generated intermediate shapes. Also, we can control the curvature of the flows and the amplitude of the resulting sine wave. From transformation section, let's play with the offset options to control the middle curve offset relative to the path. Also, we can control the rotation and the scale of any of the shapes. Now, let's add a sweep modifier to create the chair geometry from the resulting spline flow shapes. Awesome, we are almost done, that's all for today. Buy your copy now, for more information check the links in the video description. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next tutorial.